Yeah, very exciting. Um, in particular, having uh, such a history myself with the club. Um, you know, it's obviously very close, close to me and uh, I'm delighted that they're coming to Australia, that people here in Australia can see uh, a wonderful football club playing here. Uh, and also, um, you know, I'm delighted that they're doing so well in the Premier League. Oh, look, they had, they had Roy Hodgson for a very long time and he brought a lot of uh, stability to the club and uh, helped Crystal Palace become a club that um, is stable in the Premier League and regularly in the Premier League and, and fighting for that top half of the table. And uh, it looks as though from afar that Patrick's come in and changed a little bit of the way they play. Um, you can see them controlling the game a lot more, uh, a lot of build-up play. Um, so it's a new element to the team and you know, the Premier League is a very difficult league and very difficult to get points uh, regardless of how well you're playing but um, a lot of young players are coming through and doing great and uh, I believe Patrick's played a big part in that. Well we want to be, firstly we want to be very competitive. Um, you know, we're, we're, just, uh, we're playing Manchester United, we know who we're playing, we know we're playing one of the uh, the best clubs in the world uh, and the biggest, but you know we, we want to showcase the A League. We want to showcase Melbourne Victory. Uh, we want to show them that we're a big club in Australia, and uh, we have wonderful support here. Um, and we, we want to showcase our football that um, you know they can also remember uh, a very tough, competitive game uh, against A League opposition. And um, you know we'd love them to remember Melbourne Victory as playing a part in in their preparations. Uh, I think when, when you're playing and there's 90 odd thousand people, it's hard to call, they're just a friendly match and I'm sure um, their players will be very excited to play in front of such a crowd and, and I know a lot of our players, in particular our young players who never would have experienced uh, such an occasion, so you've got the, uh, the part of playing um, a lot of their probably idols and players they've looked up to and then you add 90,000 people there. Um, yeah, it's, it's a special occasion and we want the players to enjoy it but we don't want them to, to play with fear, we want them to play their football and, and show what they can do and, and obviously um, take a great learning experience playing against the best, um, you know, playing against a team that expects to be winning or challenging the Premier League every year uh, and you know you want to take something away from that and, uh, and learn and see how the very best conduct themselves and, the condition they're in, the football they play, and uh, you know we, we don't want them to be overawed, but we certainly want them to see how the best work. Yeah, I think it's um, it's, it's great that we're bringing that caliber of opponent uh, to Australia. Uh, everyone's done it tough a few years all around the world. Uh, we've done it tough here in Australia, that's for sure, and. Um, Everyone experience, has experienced difficult times. Obviously, people have been sick, people have uh, lost jobs, people have not been able to work, uh, have, have done it really tough uh, day in, day out. And we feel that the people here now are, are back to getting out and enjoying their lives, enjoying their evenings. And this is another chance for them to enjoy a great sporting event, which Melbourne hosts very well in, in every coat. Uh, and to see football being played at the MCG in front of a huge crowd, um, I think it's something uh, that everyone should enjoy and embrace. And uh, you know, really glad that we're back to doing the things that we love doing in terms of entertainment. Yeah, growing up, I think uh, you know, there's a few games that the Australian team uh, we hosted out here. Not so much in terms of big pedigree clubs. Um, wasn't done as, as often when I was a youngster coming through. Uh, it was a lot of club sides were playing in those times and uh, we had a few Premier League teams that, that have come out to play club teams, um, but that was a, a while ago where it wasn't such a prestige as there is now with the Premier League. But, um, you know, it's, it's something that's, that's grown in time and, you know, most recently, you know, we've, we had, we've had Arsenal here, we had uh, Manchester United play in Perth as well, uh, that I was a part of, and Arsenal as well in, in Sydney. So it's happening more often. Um, obviously, the country is doing something right in terms of hosting, 
and these big clubs feel that they can get something good out of their preparation coming to Australia. So uh, that's a credit to uh, everyone that hosts these big clubs and uh, hopefully we can put on a good performance and, and uh, host our guests very well here in Melbourne and hopefully they'll want to come back again. It's always uh, hard to know um, what the crowd will be like, but you know, I'm sure there'll be many, many supporters for Manchester United, but you know, we'd love those fans to be uh, cheering for us as well and, and, and seeing good football played by Melbourne Victory uh, and seeing that, that we have a good product here in Australia um, and hopefully the people that are living here in Australia and haven't encountered an A-League game that um, you know, maybe they'll come to a Melbourne Victory match after they see how we perform.